Good morning, everybody. It's Friday, October 15th. Just going to run through the morning charts here. Yesterday, gold pretty much chopped sideways for the majority of the session. Uh, early in the morning, I pointed out um, in the video that uh, we're probably going to see gold come back down, test this uh, flag that it created the other day. It'll find support there, or it should find support there. And then from there, it's probably just going to drift around. That's pretty much what it did. It uh, ended up just floating up a little bit into the afternoon, came right back down, and just pretty much rode the previous day's uh, price action and found support there. If I pull up the intraday chart of gold, you can see this is the past uh, three three days here. You can see we this is where we had that bull flag, just an intraday bull flag form. And that measured move, you take that 15 point move and you go straight up, it pretty much hit that target throughout that night. And, uh, and then I did the uh, morning video and we saw it pull right back down into support and then here's where it drifted around. Now this morning we had uh, Ben Bernanke come out and uh, say some stuff. Not really exactly sure how to take the info that he said but uh, it's affecting gold pretty sharply this morning with gold down. Uh, it did spike up originally. Everybody was anticipating uh, some good inflation uh, which would help gold. Instead uh, it quickly reversed to the downside and there's some pretty strong uh, selling volume there. If pull up the 60-minute uh, chart, let's take a look how high that volume is. It's a pretty good uh, selling spike uh, relative to other uh, uh, days that we've seen here, and uh, we could easily see a pullback down into somewhere into this level here, or down to around here, which will act as support. Also, we could see a pretty good flush. And uh, if we see that, there might actually be a good opportunity to uh, take a small long position in gold simply because it's broken out and now it's coming back down. It'll test this breakout level. And uh, this is kind of where I'm, I, I pointed to it earlier this week. It was forming this rising wedge and it would be easy to put um, a stop on a close below this little uh, trend line here. Anyways, it ended up just popping and then took off. Anyways, but if we get a nice pullback down, it could be a nice spot to take a small long position and uh, gold could easily continue to grind higher. Now if we take a quick look at the US dollar, see what that's doing. This is a 60 minute chart, this is the past five days and uh, we, we pretty much had uh, a breakdown from the, uh, there was a double bottom or triple bottom right here and as soon as we broke that we had a pretty much straight decline waterfall sell off, took a pause, ended up squeezing a little bit more and then it started to form this uh, bear flag which I, I pointed out yesterday morning that we probably get a drift back up a test of this breakdown and uh, and then this morning it started to roll back over had a pretty good sell off this morning and it's uh, it's come back pretty good so that's what's putting a bit of pressure on gold right now but the trend is still strongly down for the dollar and uh, I would expect since this bear flag is is pretty much finished. This is this here is a reversal candle, so we might actually see a bit of more of a pause today. We could actually see it from we know just kind of bounce its way back up into here and form a larger uh, bear flag. But we'll see how that plays out. If we take a look at crude oil, this is the daily chart. It's it's forming somewhat of a, a mini cup and handle here, which is a bullish pattern. Of course, if the U.S. dollar continues to fall, crude oil should continue to move up. Now if we zoom out a little bit more, we are getting into some pretty major resistance. Uh, we've got resistance from this previous high, which isn't too far away from the current price. And uh, if we zoom in, you can see we're only uh, we're about four, $4 away from these previous highs where there was some extreme selling going on. So we'll have to play that by year, but uh, it is forming somewhat of a mini cup and handle here. Uh, the, the handle's forming right under this uh, previous top. Uh, and we'll we'll just see what happens there. Now, if we take a quick look at the SP futures, SP 500, you can see this is the daily chart. You can see how it's riding up. Yesterday, it went, it, it pierced the uh, five period moving average, and um, as the as the market started to sell off yesterday, it was kind of interesting. We saw the put call ratio actually just drop, and people became more bullish as the prices drop. Usually, it's it's the reverse. Usually, when you see um, some elevated selling volume and you see prices start to drop you just see the put call ratio go up because fear creeps into the market people start protecting themselves with uh, puts expecting the market to go lower anyways we all we saw is the lower the price went the more bullish the market became so everybody's trying to uh, more or less 
buy on the dips and that's why we're getting this type of price action right here this kind of just curving up and uh, no real um, usually you get pull uh, surges and pullbacks uh, all the way up just like these here but uh, now we're just people are just buying every little dip there's there seems to be people just jumping in and just buying they're not afraid of the market falling and that's a sign that we're getting close to the top but as I mentioned out this is very 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 similar to the April uh, price action we had it'll grind up and then we'll have a, a sharp pullback and then it'll continue to grind up if I just zoom out you'll see this right back in here and this is pretty much we've seen a big run up very similar to what we're seeing right now and we're just getting pretty much every pullback to um, the five period moving average or the 10 we're seeing buying stepping in and it's just creeping up here just starting to curve it, it doesn't take much and we'll get a quick sell off and then we'll most likely get some type of bounce so we're, I think we're coming into more of a topping phase but uh, you can get pretty good moves uh, during these times here it doesn't look like much but uh, it does add up if, uh, if we can uh, pick up on some oversold dips here eventually we'll see the volume stall out and we'll actually um, we'll see that the the trend should reverse to the downside and then we'll uh, be playing the playing uh, short so that's what I'm seeing in the market now if we just pull up the intraday chart see what happened yesterday okay yesterday we saw let's zoom in a bit here the market pretty much opened a little bit a uh, little bit lower and uh, we saw we saw move up in the morning this is a 24 hour chart this is a 10 minute chart uh, 24 hours so you can see the pre-market market started right about here and uh, we saw the market move up and then we saw it move down and just grind its way lower for the majority of the day and uh, it started to form a, a falling wedge which is a bullish pattern but um, the market just wasn't showing any fear and it, it looked like it could just continue to to, to just drop like that so we didn't really take any uh, position there right after the market closed it uh, happened to jump straight up uh, Google came out with uh, blow away earnings more or less and that's what really just inflated the market right back up and of course after hours there's very light volume so it can it can move very easily anyways it traded flat for most of the uh, the night this morning we're seeing a bit of a jump there with uh, Bernanke's uh, statement and it looks like it's trying to grind higher this is somewhat uh, in my opinion short-term bearish pattern you've it's uh, taken a little pause it's moved back up but uh, we could see it spike a little bit higher and but it could easily pull back down uh, this morning this isn't uh, the most bullish of pattern just it's continuously getting pushed up like this so when it does break I think it'll pull back down probably come back down to the 1175 and then uh, trade around for the day it is Friday typically a light volume day on a light volume day we usually see uh, there's usually a bit of a positive bias to neutral to positive uh, you need strong volume in order for the markets to move down you need heavy selling uh, and usually you don't get that on a Friday so anyways that's it for now and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit bye bye